Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoGPT Tutorials channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the latest GitHub project FaceFusion, Next Generation Face Swapper and Enhancer. FaceFusion is a new project that allows you to swap faces in photos and videos with ease. It's still under development, but it has the potential to be a powerful tool for creators and anyone who wants to have some fun with face swapping. In this video, we'll take a closer look at FaceFusion. We'll talk about how it works, how to install and use it. So if you're interested in learning more about FaceFusion, be sure to watch this entire video. And if you're new in my channel and interested in learning more about AI and AutoGPT, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing new videos on a regular basis, so you'll never miss a thing. Let's get started. First, if you are a beginner and you don't know how to set up Python development environment in your system then I highly recommend it watch this video and set up your system for Python projects. After basic setup, move to any Python project. And video related all links available in the description, so check now. So let's move to today's project FaceFusion. Go to FaceFusion GitHub page. FaceFusion is a next generation face swapper and enhancer project. Preview demo image. Installation. Be aware, the installation needs technical skills and is not for beginners. Please do not open platform and installation related issues on GitHub. We have a very helpful Discord community that will guide you to install FaceFusion. FaceFusion have two different type on installation process. First basic, it is more likely to work on your computer, but will be quite slow. Second acceleration, unleash the full potential of your CPU and GPU. If you have high power CPU and GPU, then use acceleration process otherwise use basic process. All available program arguments. Let's start installation process using basic setup, so I open basic setup documentation page. Basic setup process. And if you use acceleration setup, then go to acceleration tab. But in this video, I will start with basic setup process. So first set up your platform. If you use Linux, then go to Linux tab. And first install Python using this command. Next install PIP using this pip install command. Next install git using this git install command. Next install ffmpeg using this command. And if you use macOS, then go to macOS. And follow these command and set up your system. Next, if you use window, then go to windows tab and set up now. Currently, I use window, so I follow windows installation process and start setup using these commands. First install Python using this command. But in this command you see Python version 3.10, but I recommended Python version 3.11 for this project. And I also use Python 3.11 for this project. Next install pip using this command. Next install git using this command and ffmpeg using this command. And install Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 build tools using these commands. So let's first I go to my system and start my conda environment. Open Anaconda. You see my Anaconda dashboard next, I will launch my VS Code Editor. In U versus Code Editor, open any blank folder and open your terminal, go to View tab and open Terminal. And open Command Prompt. First, I will create a new Python virtual environment for this project and install Python 
Using this command, conda create name face swap python equals 3.11 and enter now. Start processing using y command, so input y. Activate this environment using this command. So I copy this command and paste here. And you see my new created environment start now. Next go to Face Fusion Documents page. And I install Python 3.11, so I move to next step and install pip using this command. So I copy this command and paste in my terminal. In my system, I already have pip then I got already satisfied message, so I move to next step. Next install git using this command, but in my case, I already have git in my system so I move to next step, but you using this command and install now. Next install ffmpeg using this command, so I copy and paste in my terminal. Accept all terms using y command. After installing FFmpeg, move to next step. If you face any issue related to FFmpeg, then use this command and reboot your system, otherwise ignore this command and move to next step. Next install Visual C++ using this command. So, I copy and paste in my terminal, but in my system I already have Visual C++, so I don't install in my system. So I cancel this installation in my system. And I move to next step. Next set up your Visual Studio 2022 build tool in your system, so I copy this command and paste in my terminal. After install successfully move to next step. Go to Installation on Basic tab and move to Second Part. My setup process complete so I move to Next Step. And clone this GitHub repository using this command, so I copy and paste in my terminal. This GitHub repository cloned in my system. Next, I move to the Space Fusion project folder using this command cd face fusion and enter now. Next, I move to next step and install all required dependencies using this command, so I copy and paste in my terminal. Wait few minutes for install all your requirement dependencies. After install all requirement dependencies move to next step. After done all move to last and final step to run your program using this command so I copy this command and paste in my terminal. Python run.py and enter now.
Open this URL in your browser using Control plus click and open now. And you can see your program run successfully in your browser. Face Fusion 1.0.0 Move to your source tab and upload your desired pic, for example, I use Sam Altman face and change Elam Musk face. Next go to target tab and install your targeted image or video, so I upload a demo video here. And wait few seconds for your preview, change images. And you see your sample changed image here, and click download tab and download now. And if you want to change entire video face, then go to bottom and click Start tab and wait few minutes for complete your face swap video. Conclusion That's all for today's video on the Face Fusion project. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I want to remind everyone to use Face Fusion responsibly and ethically. Face Fusion is a powerful tool, and it can be used for good or bad. Please be careful about how you use it, and make sure that you are not using it to violate the safety guidelines that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching.